All right, with 96 days to go to the midterms, we're seeing a lot of attention being paid to Republicans' push to take control back in Washington. But since 2020, we've learned how important control of state legislatures and down ballot offices are on election laws. The Republican State Leadership Committee is an organization whose sole focus is just that. Joining us now is the committee's president, Dee Duncan. Dee, good to see you again. Hey, Sean, thank you. So right now, Republicans control 30 state legislatures. Democrats got 17. Uh, three have split controls. Give me a sense of what your priorities are this cycle in terms of what you guys are focusing on, what you got to hold, because Democrats are striking, and what you hope to pick up. Absolutely. You know, we are uh, number one priority, as we've said all along, is we've got to hold those Republican strongholds that we won in 2020. Uh, despite being outspent, you know, the President Obama, Eric Holder, spent $500 million to flip everything in 2020. Uh, so we have to go and protect those. Arizona, Texas, Georgia, Florida, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Ohio. Uh, so we have to protect those, make sure that we keep that Republican control. Uh, but then we're going on offense to flip chambers in, in the Minnesota House, the Colorado Senate, the Maine House, the Nevada Senate, uh, the Oregon Senate. And then... Uh, we are going to be able to go and make uh, inroads in, in traditional Democratic strongholds, uh, states like Washington, New Mexico, Illinois, New York, uh, be able to change the way that those states run. Uh, and so those are our priorities for this year. Dee, how difficult is it to get voters engaged in how important these state and down ballot races are? I mean, how much money are you raising to get out the message? You know, we are 24-7 uh, around the clock trying to raise the resources that we can, but we're always going to be outspent. Uh, but it's not about that number specifically. It's how you spend it. It's what we're selling. Uh, you know, look at what Democrats, like I said, in 2020, they spent $500 million to flip everything, and they didn't flip anything. They actually lost chambers. Uh, in Virginia, they outspent us on the legislative races, $54 million to $23 million. Uh, and we were still able to flip seven seats and take control of that cha uh, of that chamber. Uh, and that's what we're going to do here. We're having to, you know, we're breaking records every quarter. Uh, but it, even as we break records, they're raising even more money. Uh, but it's from all across this country. You know, uh, someone in California can't vote in Arizona or Georgia or Florida. Uh, and so the, we are confident that we're going to have the resources, uh, but you can never have enough. But, but from a Republican standpoint, you guys are the people. So if you're running for the state house, you're not calling the RNC for help. You're calling you guys, right? Absolutely. You know, we work very closely with the RNC. They are uh, a vital part of that, and they are invested in these races as well. We work hand in hand with them, uh, along with, you know, the RGA and the uh, NRSC and the NRCC, because there's a lot of priorities uh, that we all have together.